So you see what we're doing here doesn't just give you as a member of our of our blockchain incentive, it gives the gold miner incentive to take the gold mines off the market. And, and in some areas, it's having a massive impact by, by stopping the harmful effects on the environment, by stop polluting the rivers, by stop you know uh, 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 the damage that it's doing to these villages. And so, as you can see, this new economy that we're able to create is solving the real world problems. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to RNG Crypto. It's your boy here with you for another video, guys. And in this video, I am going to show you a recording of Element. I've made several videos on Element, which is a project that essentially takes real gold assets and digitizes them into the blockchain and verifies them on the blockchain and what it really does essentially is will keep uh, the environment from getting destroyed uh, people in those third world countries from being exploited and guys it is putting a game on top of all of this to make this uh, sort of more appealing to the masses so this project is where it's at coming from connect united same place that gala games came from guys these nodes are only two thousand five hundred dollars guys two thousand five hundred dollars per node one node in the first year is going to mine you anywhere between eight thousand to fifteen thousand tokens per day just imagine where that can go especially when and if value does come of course no guarantees but guys this project is legit they've put over 100 million dollars into the development already again same place that gala games came from if you missed out on gala games nodes in the beginning for two thousand bucks which are now ninety eight thousand dollars a node this is a nice second chance for us all. I am stacking these notes. I'm trying to get to 10. If I can get 10, I'll be a happy camper, guys. That's all for now. Enjoy the video. And if you like the content, make sure you use the referral down below to create your account and sign up for these notes. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right in. I'll, I'll start sharing my screen here in just a minute, but I wanted to talk a little bit about this, this crazy thing that everybody's getting involved in called the blockchain. And when I first heard about blockchain, I got on an airplane nine years ago and this guy sat next to me and he started explaining to me what Bitcoin was and how it's powered by a technology called blockchain. And we talked for about an hour and he talked about this Satoshi, nobody knows who he is, blah, blah, blah. And he said to me, as we got off the plane, do everything in your power to study blockchain and what it's gonna do because it's gonna revolutionize the world. And in, and in about 10 seconds after I got off the plane, I forgot I ever heard the word blockchain and just went about my business. And this was at the time when I was working in Africa. I was actually doing some gold mining out in Africa. And it's a long, complicated story about how I got how, you know, a guy in Utah, you know, at the time with four kids, you know, with the kind of a technical, you know, like Eric mentioned, we were technical recruiters. I was a big real estate guy. The the, the story of how I got out there in Africa is is a well, there's a TV show about it, so you can watch it. But <laughs> but it, it was very long and complicated. And and so I forgot all about blockchain, just got back to my life, got back to mining and then back into real estate. And through a series of really weird coincidences and things happening, um, I got thrust right back into blockchain. And blockchain is going to revolutionize the world. It's the new internet. It is where everything is moving. Every company, so 22 years ago when Eric and I were working together, we were, it was during the dot-com boom. It was all Silicon Valley startups. And we were working with early, this is pre pre-Facebook, right? This is where I remember we were having a conversation and somebody said, hey, I've got this new company and they're working on this thing called Bluetooth. And they described what Bluetooth was. And all these companies were jumping in and trying to figure out how they can utilize this new thing called the internet and this e-commerce. And so company after company, they're getting angel funding and, and everybody's just throwing ridiculous amounts of money and overvaluing these companies based on this new crazy idea of the internet and everybody just rushing. And Eric and I made a lot of money participating. And, you know, back then, you know, a, a basic software engineer was getting like 150 grand. This is 20 years ago. And we're making a ton of money on all of these uh, uh, fees, you know, from being these recruiters. And when you look back at it, the vast majority of all the companies that got in on this internet boom are out of business. A few of them stayed because they had a, a great idea. Everybody else was kind of a pretender. Everybody else 
you know, just kind of started with internet first and then tried to back into, okay, now let's come, come up with a company that, that we can utilize this new internet e-commerce technology. And so what's happening right now with, with uh, blockchain technology and, and the crypto reward as a result of this blockchain is the exact same thing. You're already starting to hear about uh, rug pools where people will jump in, they'll, they'll just throw money at this crypto out of pure hype and the rug will get pulled out from underneath them. And all of a sudden, one day that company is just shut down. Blockchain technology is at this moment revolutionizing the world. And we're at about uh, a five out of 100. That's how early in this blockchain we are. You hear words like NFTs and crypto and, and, and blockchain, and most people don't really understand it. Most people's exposure to NFTs is like a picture of a cat or a monkey or something like that. And they don't realize that NFTs are gonna change the world, that blockchain technology is gonna change the world. And so what we wanted to talk about today is why blockchain technology is gonna change the world and how what we have specifically here at, at Element is gonna be a big part of that moving forward. If a blockchain company, if a crypto company doesn't have any utility, isn't solving a real world problem, it's not gonna be around. The beautiful thing about blockchain is that it's created this new economy where we can now give people a financial incentive to change, to do good, to take care of themselves, to solve real world problems. Because a lot of the problems in the world out there that exist right now have been around for a long time because there was never a financial incentive to fix the problem. And so blockchain, with allowing all of people all around the world to join a blockchain company to, to you know, be, become a node, which we'll explain here in a minute, has now given a financial incentive for people to do good. And, and so it's really interesting about seeing what's happening out there, seeing the changes that are happening in the world right now by the ability of people collectively through this, through this crazy thing called blockchain to, to solve problems. So let's think about Bitcoin. Okay, Bitcoin is, is a new currency. It's, it's decentralized. It's, it's this open ledger that doesn't rely on you know, banks and, and, and insiders you know, to verify transactions. You know, Bitcoin said, hey, let's grab a whole bunch of people on their computers to verify transactions together and let's reward them with something. And we'll call that reward Bitcoin. Well, Bitcoin is revolutionizing the world. You've got entire countries that are making their national currency Bitcoin. And so we, we look at this novel technology that, that literally is changing everything about the world. And then you look at all the, all the splinters and all the companies that are, there, that are being created by using this same blockchain technology. And blockchain technology allows us to do what I call hacking human behavior. It allows us to facilitate change by giving people a financial reward to change, or at least to contribute. So what we're going to talk about tonight is how what specifically we're doing here at Element can allow people to be financially compensated by doing something good. And when you can marry good together with being financially rewarded for that, you got to win-win. Those are the things that change the world, right? And so so let's, let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and, and share my screen here. And we're going to talk a little bit about, about the things that we're able to accomplish uh, through blockchain technology. So we are called Element. And Element is, is uh, designed, you'll, you'll see the kind of the creativity of our name here in just a minute as we go through who we are. But I'm going to give you a brief background, okay? Because I think it's important to talk about who we are, where we've come from, so that it establishes some credibility. Right now, most of the people out there who have a blockchain company who are issuing coins are just doing it out of thin air. So I want to talk a little bit about, about who we are. Just a quick disclaimer, we're not a security. Um, um, all items discussed here are in development and could change. Um, and, and so, and again, there's no, we're not making a guarantee that you're all going to become multimillionaires as soon as this webinar is over. I mean, that would be awesome, but <laughs> we, we don't make any guarantees on anything that we do, and that's the way it should be. Uh, we are what we call a proof of action, meaning you're going to get compensated based on your actions. And there, you know, there's it's not just a, a gravy train, and 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 money doesn't just appear out of nowhere. 
anybody that telling you anybody pitching anything that that claims that should probably be um, ignored swiftly. So here's where we started. The founder of our company originally started um, mining Bitcoin. He was one of these early adopters. He figured out early on in you know 2014, 2015 that Bitcoin was a thing. And he was smarter than I was because I found out about this in 2013 and, and dismissed it immediately. But he realized that that this was the future, that this is where things were going. So he started mining. And in the process of mining, he did it the way everybody did, right? He started out on a few computers and, and started mining when his, you know, after work, when he can free up his computer space. He, he essentially turned his computer into a node and, and uh, started to mine in his spare time. And then he realized, oh, this is cool. I'm making a couple of Bitcoin a day. How do I do more? And then he started renting out warehouses and then turning shipping containers into data centers to where it was powered by solar and running 24 hours a day. Eventually, he became one of the largest Bitcoin miners in all of North America and mined many, many thousand Bitcoin. Now, in the process of doing that, he realized the good with the bad. Number one, the good was that you could earn this digital reward by contributing to this blockchain technology. The bad was that quickly it became only the elites that could do it, only the people that could afford to pay these exorbitant power bills, only those that could buy new equipment every year. And it quickly went from being the people's money to just the few, just those people that, that had those resources. And so he wanted to figure out a way to return mining to the people, which I think was the pure intent of Bitcoin. And so what he did was he took about $100 million of his money that he had made from Bitcoin. And believe me, that was just a small fraction of what he made. And he created a new blockchain, a new blockchain that separated the hardware from the software, meaning you could get back to the good old days where you could just mine from a laptop. And so he created a software program that allowed you to mine. And, and he, he put a lot of time and money, got a lot of patents in, in this um, new blockchain space. And the first company that he created was a company called Green. And he said, listen, look at all the energy that it takes to mine. Let's create a new energy coin that allows you to be rewarded with a coin that you could swap to pay your power bills. And so Green was is, is a big success. It, it's got a huge uh, base to it. Um, but the reason why Green didn't take off you know, with lightning speed was because he made the mistake of starting two blockchain companies at the same time, one of them called Gala. Now, for some of you on the phone who've heard of Gala, Gala is a top 50 coin on Coinbase. It's a gaming coin. It basically turned a bunch of kids who wanted to play video games into a business, right? The, I'm not a big gamer. The last game I played was like Mike Tyson's Punch Out on a Nintendo NES, but I wasn't getting paid to do it. So he turned gaming into a, a revenue source. And so Gala has done some amazing things. It's a top 50 token up until a few days ago. Obviously, the, the markets have taken a turn over the past week, but it was at about 19 cents. Around Thanksgiving of last year, it got all the way up to 84 cents or about 80 cents. And uh, so it, it just really took off. He partnered up with a man named Eric Schiermeyer that was the founder of MySpace and also the founder of Zynga that produced games like Farmville. And he partnered up with him. They're 50-50 they're owners of the company, and they've really taken Gala to the moon. And so Gala right now, a, a node with Gala in the early days cost about $1,000 or $2,000. But if you were to go to Gala's website right now, you'll see that it takes about you know, uh, 93,000 USD to buy a Gala node. In fact, this is an old slide. It's probably closer to 100 USD because the price of the node increases every time a Gala node sells. And it, sell, it goes up by about a dollar. And so right now, so if you wanted to get in and buy Gala, it's going to cost you about 100000 for one node. But the people who really did well with Gala bought three years ago when the node was a couple thousand dollars. And in that time, over the past three years, one node has, has kicked out enough Gala rewards to be equivalent to about a half a million dollars USD. So, so how do you think the original adopters of Gala feel today? 
they're, they're, they're very happy. They've done very well. And Dave and I have had the pleasure of meeting hundreds of them at, at some of these conventions um, because we have a common owner. The, the majority owner of Element is also the 50% owner of Gallon Green and many, many other projects that we'll talk about in just one second. But so, th so that's how the node uh, world works. A lot of the coins are kicked out in the first year. And so there's this early adopter mad rush when, when, when a good node comes out because people know there's potentially a lot of upside there. Now, of course, there's no guarantee. A lot of people have bought other nodes and gotten nothing out of it. But there's this uh, early adopter mentality with nodes and people are always looking for the right node at the right time with the right cause and the right purpose. And so they have this fear of missing out. There's always this massive FOMO of, oh my gosh, you know, I missed out on Bitcoin. I missed out on Gala. What's the next big one? And that's a scary place to live in right now because of all the bad companies that are out there. So we're trying to, to control the narrative and to let people know, listen, Element might not be the right node for you, but be very careful with some of these other nodes out there that are making these fantastical claims. Do they have a track record? Do they have a history? Are they trying to solve a real world problem? And that's really what it comes down to, to for us because we like to consider ourselves blockchain with a purpose. If you have a purpose, if you have a strong why, if you're trying to solve a real world problem, then you're gonna have some success with your, pro, your, your company. And so, in our family of companies, there are about 16 blockchain projects. Obviously, Element's the best one, but we have several others. We have, there's Green down there that we just talked about. Liberty is run by a bunch of ex-special forces there. It's vets helping vets. Give is a charity. Switch is, allows you to spend your crypto on like a debit card on one of their cards. Galvin is a, is a telehealth program. So when, when we talk about blockchain with a purpose and being able to hack human behavior, all of, all of every project of ours, all 16 have a purpose. And I'll give you just one quick example. So with Galvin right there in the middle, Galvin is our telehealth program. And when we talk about giving people a financial reward to do good, Galvin's a good example. And here's why. So with Galvin, if you have a node and you take certain actions, remember that phrase I talked about with proof of action, there are certain actions you can take with, with Galvin to earn more of their reward, such as work out and record your workout on your iPhone watch and then upload that workout into the blockchain, you'll get rewarded. Uh, start a diet plan, upload your diet into the blockchain, you get rewarded. Use one of our telehealth doctors for preventive maintenance, get rewarded. Take control of your personal health records, put them into the blockchain, get rewarded. So as you can see there, now you're getting paid to be healthy. Rather than getting sick and having to pay the healthcare industry, we can set up an incentive program to where now you get paid to be healthy. And that's how blockchain is gonna change the world. That's just one example of hundreds of them that are out there or specifically 16 of them that are in our family of companies that really hack human behavior and allow people to now get rewarded for doing good. Because a lot of the problems, like I mentioned, are out there because there's no financial reward to get people off their butts and make a difference. That is all changed now with blockchain. And that is the reason why blockchain is going to change the world because that reward or that crypto coin that it kicks out is the incentive to do good. Now, we have some core values here at Element, and we have seen some problems that exist out there. So we believe that people can generate more wealth from industries that leverage pristine natural resources than from exploitive industries that extract them. Now, that's a mouthful. I'm going to repeat it, okay, because this is core to what we do. We believe that more people can generate wealth from industries like ours that leverage pristine natural resources than from exploitive industries that extract them. What that means is we believe that keeping gold in the ground has the potential to create more wealth than from the companies who are pulling the gold out of the ground. That's a, that's a, I, that, I just dropped the mic there. When you think about, and hopefully you'll understand what that just, what that means, think about what I just said. Basically what I'm saying is if gold has more value in the ground, it will stay in the ground and it needs to stay in the ground for some reasons we're going to talk about. So let me just introduce, I'm Scott Lomu, sorry, that last slide, Todd, I'm not Scott Lomu Hoffman, I'm, I'm Scott Lomu, there's David Casteller who's going to 
pipe in here in just a minute, and then Todd Hoffman, who some of you might know, I'll explain who he is, he is in a minute. There are a lot of problems in the world. I'm here only to talk about the problems in the mining industry and why you should care. So the elements are controlled by a few. There's a few big mining companies. There's a few big countries that dominate gold mining and diamond mining. They are exploiting people to do it. They are exploiting the environment and communities to get the gold out. There is massive corruption in, in the mining industry. And there are countries that are hoarding gold. And when I tell you why they're hoarding the gold, you're going to be shocked, or you should be. Most people don't know that these problems exist. And I didn't know that these problems exist until I experienced it firsthand. So if you'll indulge me, I want to show you, rather than tell you how I know about these problems, I want to show you. So if you'll if you'll stay with me here for, for two minutes, I want to show you exactly how I know firsthand these problems right here. All right. So I spent five years mining gold in, in Africa after a, after a successful real estate career. As soon as the market tanked, I found myself uh, having lost everything and was through a weird set of circumstances, ended up gold mining in Ghana. Uh, Discovery Channel heard about two idiots from Utah that were out in Ghana trying to mine. They sent a crew out to follow us around for a couple of days. At the end of those few days, they sat down with us. They said, one of you is going to die out here and we want to be there to record it. So they signed us to a contract and uh, I ended up on, on a Discovery Channel for a few years. For uh, You know, we were really popular in the UK. For some of you guys who were out there in the UK, you know, out here in Utah, I would get stopped at like Home Depot or Walmart by some guy in a hard hat who'd go, hey, I love your show. But in the UK, we'd walk the streets and everybody would be like, oh my gosh, because, you know, the, the, the Brits love to see bad things happen to Americans. And so, so while I was out there, I, the, the problems in the gold mining industry became very apparent. I watched kids get exploited by mine after mine. And now keep in mind, when you're out there in Ghana and you're trying to feed your family and you normally make four, three, four dollars a day and some illegal uh, miner from, from China or Russia comes out there and says, hey, let us mine here in your village and we will pay you 10 bucks a day. Oh, by the way, we're going to tear down your cocoa plantations. We're going to pollute the river and uh, we're going to we're going to make sure that we leave this this pristine jungle in a much worse condition than when we found it. You would normally think that people would say no to that. But in Ghana, when you're just trying to feed your children, you allow it. You say yes. And it's a tragedy because the the people in these areas are complicit and all the bad things that are happening. But if you're trying to feed your kids and you're, it's the difference between letting a tree live or letting your child live, you're gonna let your child live at the expense of the environment. And so the exploitation of these countries and these companies is rampant and it's happening all over the world. So there's some bigger problems here. So this is actually a photo from Ghana. This is what it looks like when the mining leaves. This is a photo from uh, uh, Guyana in South America. This is these, both these are gold mines. This is what it looks like. If you guys want to have a little bit of fun, go on Google Earth and zoom in very closely in some of the mining regions in the Amazon and in Ghana. And this is exactly what you'll see. You will see this. It looks like the surface of the moon. And so this exploitive nature of what's happening out there in Ghana is the, the locals are participating in it. And we all suffer. The, the rainforest is being torn down for, for this gold mining where only a few people are benefiting from it, especially these countries. So why do you think they're doing this? Why do you think China and, and, and Russia are gold mining all over the world? They are doing it for very specific purposes. Um, so China, like this article says here, this is from a couple months ago, certainly owns more gold than the US. They are the world's largest owner of gold and it isn't even close. So if you were to go go Google Money Week, look at this ad, uh, look at this article and read it and it will tell you the very shocking and scary reason why China is hoarding gold. China is smart, they're not dumb. They see what's happening in the United States with inflation, with us printing money, with our economy, with all these things happening and they're taking advantage. Now they've been planning this for a long time. They know that if they can have more power on the world stage, specifically because of their gold reserves, they're going to do anything to get it, including exploiting Africans and South Americans and Central Americans. The biggest miners in every country are Russia and China. 
And they're doing it so that they can turn the tide of world power. And they're doing it at the expense of all of us, but especially these communities that are being exploited. So here's a scary article. This is from March 15 of this year. Saudi Arabia is considering accepting the yuan instead of the US dollar for Chinese oil sales. Why are they doing that? Because they view China as powerful and as emerging, and it's because of their gold reserves. They know, they watch TV, they see what's happening in the US that we are losing power. So China is trying to flip flop the power on the world stage, and they're doing it with gold. And this is a fact, this isn't me speculating. China is viewed as stable because of their gold reserves. And they are gonna get gold however they can at the expense of all of us with the environment, but mostly at the expense of those who are being marginalized and exploited because they happen to live where all the gold is. These, these countries are some of the poorest on earth, but they hold the most gold reserves. So there are major problems happening in the world right now in the world of gold. People are being exploited, the, 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 the environment is being annihilated, and nefarious actors on the world stage are out there exploiting the power of gold for themselves. We need to decentralize gold. We need to take gold and other resources out of the hands of those, those who would exploit and those who would abuse power. Element is here to solve that problem. We aren't dumb enough to think that we're gonna solve this problem overnight or by ourselves, or that we'll even take a big chunk of that power away. We're here to do whatever we can. The incentive of the blockchain allows Element and our army of node owners to solve this problem. Why? Because you're being financially incentivized to do so. I'm, I'm a realist. I understand that there are many of you on this call who don't care about what's happening in the gold world, who just want to look at Element and the coin that we produce from owning a node and, and take care of your own selves financially. That is okay, because we've built into the Element ecosystem a way that no matter who you are, whether you just want to buy a node, you are still contributing to the solution rather than being a part of the problem. We're going to go into details of that in the next couple of minutes. So we are solving problems. We're going to digitize gold. We're going to decentralize access. We are trying to do for gold what Bitcoin did for currency. Decentralize it, take it out of the hands of the few, and allow everybody to participate it. We're going to have a utility-based NFT. We're going to talk about, David's going to talk here in just a minute, about NFTs and how NFTs are the actual digitization of the in-ground asset. We're going, to, we're going to make gold mining a game. While we preserve the actual asset in the ground, we are going to make gaming more fun by earning the digital reward rather than actually, and, and in the process, while you're gaming, you're preserving the actual gold in the ground, okay? So when I talk about we're going to digitize gold and make the digital version of that gold or the digital replacement of that gold more valuable than the gold itself, I'm not joking. I'm as serious as a heart attack. Of course, I can't guarantee it, but these are the things that we're working on. We are going to make the, the digitized version of the gold more democratic, more accessible, and hopefully more valuable. And we have specific mechanisms that are only possible through the blockchain to do that. This wasn't possible a few years ago, but this new technology is allowing all of us collectively to not only solve problems together, but to be financially compensated for doing so. And so we, we've got some amazing things uh, lined up. We are digitizing, we're gamifying, and we're verifying gold in the ground. And so, um, and we do that through the mechanism of a node. A node is basically, instead of a central governing authority like a bank, determining which transactions are fraudulent and which are legit, the nodes serve as a consensus mechanism. So basically, a node is a part of the blockchain that we all can participate in. And we're going to talk about some very exciting things, how we do that. I know you guys' time is short, but we're going to get to that right now. And I'm going to actually turn a minute over, a few minutes over to David, who's our COO. And he's going to talk about how we do that, how we take a physical, because I'm sure all 163 of you on here are wondering, Scott, how do you take the in-ground asset and replace the value of that with something digital? David is going to talk about that right now. Thanks, Scott. So We've got a picture here of a 43101 geological report. So what this is, is basically you have to determine and verify that there's actually gold in the ground. 
and it starts by doing core drill samples. So this is an example of one of the mines that we're working with. And I think this was mentioned, but we actually plan on having billions and billions and billions of dollars worth of mine, mining uh, uh, elements, gold, silver, mines on the books of element itself. So we plan on owning and having mines be pledged to us so we can digitize them properly. But here's an example of what a 43101 geological report looks like, um, at least a piece of it. These are, these are very big documents over 100 pages. And so these dots here are the core samples that were drilled to verify that there are certain amounts of gold in the, that location or no gold at all. So the first step in digitizing the gold is verifying that there is gold in the ground, that the gold is there and how much. And we can go to the next slide, Scott. And that's the digitization. So we take it, we know that it's there, and then we split it up into little boxes, little squares that we intend to make NFTs. And these NFTs actually will be represented um, uniquely. They're uh, utility-based NFTs. So it's not an image. It's not a, a picture that just sits there. There actually is real utility in the NFTs. And the NFT can actually provide real value potentially as we go forward. The key with the NFT is that the NFT represents the digital gold that's in the ground, the digital representation of that value. Eventually we, we plan on having the NFTs be real utility with staking, allow more access, monetization of those of assets. Um, we think there's some really cool things that Scott will get into with the gaming. Now, for those who don't know an NFT, NFT stands for non-fungible token. What, what that really means is it's, it's, there's only one of it. So let's say, for instance, you go and buy a Rolex watch. So it's $20,000, uh, you buy the Rolex watch. Well, how do you know that, that Scott's or the Rolex that you bought is not the exact same as Scott's that Scott bought in uh, on the back street for hundred bucks? Well, the way you know is simply by a serial number and a real verification that you'll, you'll get a card with the watch that you buy. Uh, same thing with, the, with cars, you have VIN numbers and different things. So it's a one of a kind uh, representation digitally. What's nice about NFT and using blockchain technology is blockchain technology through the series of node networks makes, uh, makes it almost impossible to hack and to uh, change that verification to another person. So NFTs are a way to represent to everyone in the world that this NFT is unique, that it's owned by a certain person, and it has certain properties attached to it. Now ours, because ours are utility-based NFTs, they'll be tied directly to real world uh, uh, in-ground gold and value there, these, these precious elements that we've verified. Um, here's an example of some properties that could happen with the NFT collection. If we, if we build this out correctly, there'll be NFTs that actually have real value. Next slide, Scott. Um, and then we want to talk about the gamification. I'm going to turn it right back to Scott because NFTs are critical um, to how we digitize the gold and the gold stays in the ground. We don't have to mine it. It stays there and we're able to digitize that gold so that we can get that value to more and more people and have it verified through the blockchain element, uh, the element blockchain. Thanks, David. And so that's just one of the one of the ways that we can convert a real world asset into something digital that has value. And the reason we talked about NFTs first is because I always get the question, Scott, what is in it for me? Let's just say I own a gold mine and I have a gold mine and I want to go out and I mine it. But um, what what's what's in it for me to to stop mining? And so the blockchain not only allows you guys as, as participants in this blockchain to, to buy a node and to be rewarded for it, but allows us to provide an incentive for gold miners to not mine. Okay, so if I, if I, let's just say I go to Ghana 
And, and all of the mining concessions are issued by the Ghanaian government. Now, what they're currently doing is they're selling them to all these Chinese and Russian gold miners. Well, they have to go through a local Ghanaian. So I'm gonna talk about how blockchain technology allows us to get in there and get these gold mines before they're, they're given over to people who are exploiting and, and damaging the earth. So here's how that works. So I go in to Ghana. I meet up with the Ghanaian government that issues the gold claim. They only issue these gold mining claims to a Ghanaian. Well, I happen to know a lot of them because I spent five years over there. One of them, her name is Faustina. Faustina is one of the biggest brokers of gold mines in all of Ghana. I go to Faustina, and by the way, I've already done this, and I say, Faustina, what's happening with your gold mines? Who's, who are you selling to? She says, I'm selling to the Chinese. How do you like the Chinese and what they're doing to your country? Oh, I hate it, but they pay me a lot of money. What if I paid you more to not gold mine? How are you going to do that, Scott? Well, let me tell you. I've developed a blockchain network with nodes. I'm going to give you nodes, and you're going to give me all of these claims. I'm going to give you a little bit of cash, but I'm going to also mostly give you nodes. Well, how does that work? Well, Faustina, I'm going to control this. We are, we're going to make sure that we do not mine at all. And in exchange for that, you're going to get nodes in the element network where the, the reward from the node could potentially be worth a lot more than the percentage of royalty you're going to get from the Chinese. Well, Scott, I love that. Here's 19 gold mines. Can how When can we get started? These are actual conversations that have already happened. So each concession is 25 acres. So we have already successfully negotiated for, for 19 25 acre concessions because we now have a financial instrument in which to incentivize Faustina and the Ghanaian government to not sell gold mines to those people who are exploiting and hoarding gold. There's also gold mines in Arizona that we're working with. One of the gold mines has $6 billion worth of gold in it, but the guy doesn't have the $100 million he needs to gold mine. So we approached him and said, Mr. Mr. Owen, what if we gave you nodes and you gave us on title this 2000 acre gold mine that has $6 billion in it? It allows you to make some money now, potentially a lot more without taking the risk of gold mining. And we get to lock up this gold mine so that it, it doesn't harm the environment and, it, and the gold sales don't go to, to who you were normally gonna sell to, which is other governments. He says to me, Scott, that sounds awesome. Give me X number of gold mines and I will stop the gold mining. So you see what we're doing here doesn't just give you as a member of our, of our blockchain incentive, it gives the gold miner incentive to take the gold mines off the market. And, and in some areas, it's having a massive impact by, by stopping the harmful effects on the environment, by stop polluting the rivers, by stop you know uh, 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 the damage that it's doing to these villages. And so, as you can see, this new economy that we're able to create is solving the real world problems. And in some cases, the reason why I bring this up now is because we can now offer NFTs. A portion of all the NFTs that are sold can go to the gold miner. So we can say, listen, Mr. Gold Miner, we're going to divide up your gold mine into 10,000 NFTs and we're going to sell them. You as an NFT holder have an upside because you're going to be getting rewarded the element coin. The NFT can go up in value. You can get the carbon credit that comes with that. The gold miner says, or the gold mine owner gets a percentage of all the revenue. And so we're creating this new economy, but there's more. We need to bring in a broader audience. The stronger that our network is, the more utility there is for the coin. We're creating a market for the coin. We need a lot of people to be interested in this. Now, when you go and you watch TV in the middle of the day and you see TV commercials about gold, who's in that commercial? It's always an old guy with a head full of white hair, Tom Bosley or William Devane saying, hey, put gold in your IRA. We need to change that. We need to broaden the gold audience. And so we have come up with the idea of gamification to turn gold mining into a game, primarily because it's a mechanism to convert the physical gold into digital gold, but also it brings in a broad audience. It brings in the younger crowd who have learned that now you get paid to game. So you guys know that, that Gala is that we have the same owner as Gala. What we would like to do is to do a joint venture with Gala to where we design a game and the game allows us to, sorry, the game allows us to replicate 
in the metaverse real gold mining. So if I have a, you know, let's go back to the slide that David showed. So if I have this slide right here, and this is actually a real assay of a gold mine, the, all the red areas show where all the gold is. Now I can put a game interface over that. And now we're mining in a, in a game and we're bringing in thousands of gamers who now have access to the value of that gold rather than just one gold miner. So let me give you an example here. So I have a gold mine with a real person that's down in Arizona. It's one person named Mr. Owen. He has the gold mine. When he mines it, all the gold is his. When we buy it and we bring it into the element economy, now thousands of people can mine it and keep the gold in the ground at the same time. So what we're doing is we're creating, because we're mining it in the digital world, you're getting rewarded for it with the replacement value of that gold, but the gold stays in the ground. The environment isn't impacted, people aren't impacted, but now instead of one person hoarding gold and making a ton of money or one country using it to, to exploit and to create power, thousands of us in our node network are able to mine that gold mine. And the fun thing is that the game matches up with where the gold is in real life. So if I happen to buy this little plot of land that matches up with where, a, where the mother load is in the real world, I get a whole bunch of tokens from it. So that whole gold fever and the excitement of gold mining is all still there, but now in the metaverse with somebody on their computer playing at night and they're helping us because we're creating this new economy. A percentage of the node sales goes to help the economy. A percentage of everything that's rewarded goes back to help these villages, goes back to reclaim land. And so whether you're a gamer or, or you just want a node, it doesn't matter. Everybody in this ecosystem is solving real world problems. For those people that want to game, you're just going to earn more coins than somebody that just bought a node and set it and forget it but the option exists for everybody. But we've created this ecosystem so that no matter what, however passive or however active you are, you're gonna be rewarded and you're gonna be helping other people. You're gonna be helping the environment. You're gonna be helping all these communities that are that have, are being exploited because of this intrusive gold mining. And so again, we have carbon credits that are gonna be attached to all these because now keep, keep in mind, how much carbon are we keeping out of the earth how much are we reducing that carbon footprint we're reducing it a lot and it can be these carbon credits can be attached to these nfts to give your nft even more value and so now we make money off nfts off carbon credits off node technology whereas a real gold mine just makes money off the asset that's in the ground this new economy in the metaverse allows you as participants in this new economy to make money multiple ways Rather than just rather than just you know one person making money off of the gold mine, and so the the possibilities with what we're doing are phenomenal because of the financial incentive that everybody now has. And keep in mind, when the company buys these gold mines, these gold mines are on the books of our of our company. So when you think about the different options that exist out there, the different problems that can be solved, and the different the different things that that you have to choose from. I personally would choose from a company that is solving a real world problem. I personally would choose from a company that has assets on the books. I personally would choose from a company that has a roadmap that's done it before. And that's why all these things have married to our, our endeavor, which is Element, to solve real world problems and to make sure that, that we're, we, are, we are not only financially incentivizing you, but that problems are being done um, in the process. And so, how many of you guys have seen a movie called uh, Blood Diamond? Hit yes in the chat if, if you've seen this movie. And what, what you saw in, in that movie was massive exploitation, was, was this process of diamonds being mined at the expense and, and the lives of, of other people, okay? There are massive problems in the gold and diamond business. There is corruption. That's why they have this whole process called the Kimberly process. The Kimberly process is, a, is an organization of multiple countries that comes together and says, we will put a verification process together to prove that the diamond or the gold that you buy isn't a conflict diamond. Well, guess what? The blockchain solves this problem. The blockchain from the mine 
to the diamond cutter, to the wholesaler, to the retailer, to the customer, that entire process can now be put on the blockchain so that you can buy your diamond with confidence, knowing that it didn't come at the life of another person. You can also have certificate of title, knowing that you are the owner of this diamond ring. Every problem with supply chain or with proof of origin or with proof of ownership that exists today in the jewelry business is eliminated with the blockchain. And that is a big core component of what Element does. Not only do we protect the in-ground asset, but we address the, the elephant in the room, which is the gold that's already been mined. Who owns it? How do I know that my diamond ring was, didn't come at the expense of a child? And so the blockchain process can solve that entire. So a lot of people sit there and go, okay, Scott, I, I get this whole node thing that, that my node will be solving, solving algorithms and, and verifying transactions. But what are those transactions? What are the things that my node is doing? Your node is going to be very, very busy. How many jewelry transactions do you think happen worldwide? Tens of thousands a day. How many transactions are happening within the games? How many transactions are happening with the NFTs? The utility of your node is phenomenal. There's going to be massive use for the, the Element Node Network, which is why we need a strong, robust network. We need many people buying nodes. We need you guys running multiple nodes because you'll get multiple rewards from it and you're solving massive problems in the process. So with what we have, we have a track record. We have real world problems that need real world solutions. We have a technology that, that, that's had well over $100 million worth of development that have gone into it. And we are creating an environment where it is truly a win-win. You win by getting the reward. We created an economy where you can use your reward to exchange it for physical gold. You can use a reward to just hold on to it and hope it increases in value. You can use the element coin to donate to a village. You can use that element coin to go on adventures with our celebrity gold miners. We're going to create an entire ecosystem with many different options for you to use that coin. And we, we get it. We know that most people get into this and they're just going to want to hold the coin because they hope it goes up in value. There's no guarantee that it'll ever go up in value. But there are many things that our coin will do to, to provide value to you, even if it's just, let's, let's help some people. Let's donate a portion of this coin and, and, and do some good for the village. So for me, if, let's think about the problem. If I'm going to remove a gold mine from a village, and take away money, food from somebody's mouth, what I am proposing to replace better damn well improve the life of those people more than the exploitive gold mining. Because if I can make not mining more profitable than mining, then guess who's my biggest ally? It is the people in these villages who are being exploited. They will defend that in-ground gold as much as they can. They will make sure that it's not being exploited, that people aren't coming in. They will defend it. So this economy that we're creating for me, if it does not make the life of the, the Ghanaian or, or, or the Brazilian or the native Alaskan, if it doesn't improve their life by, by stopping the mining, then we failed. So that's why we are forced to create economies and to create processes that allow money to go back into the village to send their kids into the capital to get educated, uh, uh, send in experts to encourage uh, sustainable farming techniques, uh, turn them into security to guard the mines, give them nodes, give the villagers nodes so that they can be self-sufficient, so that they receive more of a reward by not mining than by on the mining itself. And I'm telling you, that is what we've put together at Element. We have created new economies. We are going to revolutionize the gold industry. We are creating new values. And, you know, we've already had people come into our office and say, listen, this is this. What you guys are doing by stopping the, the mining is encouraging the industry to think of better mining practices, to now go mine off of tailings. You know why we got Todd Hoffman from Gold Rush? Do you know why he's our ambassador? because he's seen it firsthand and he knows that, that he's 
as a gold miner for 12 years, he knows there's a better way to do it. He knows that the digital version of what we're doing is worth more than the gold itself. And this has been a very successful gold miner. He wants to be a part of what we're doing. He wants to be part of the change. And he has a worldwide influence and worldwide wide reach. And he's gonna use that reach to full advantage to let people know about Element, to let people know, get involved, buy a node, buy an NFT, contribute, uh, you know, play the game so that you can help be a part of the process. You know, and some people, like like a lot of people I know, they'll just buy a node and it's set it and forget it. That's perfectly okay with us because we built in to our ecosystem. No matter what you do, no matter how involved you are, you are part of the solution. And I think people want that. I think people want to know that, hey, this thing that I'm doing here not only has the potential to have very large, you know, upside for me, whatever, however you define that, but I'm part of the solution. I'm doing things that are solving real world problems. That is the beauty of blockchain. And so I just want to go over our roadmap real quick. I know we've had you on here longer than we thought. Element's going to purchase and secure gold mines and precious metals on the blockchain. Element will purchase, develop, and iterate a free mobile play to earn game. Sorry. Um, Element will partner with jewelers to create a blockchain that tracks jewelry. And we're creating games of this metaverse. You know, jewelry asset identification, verification, future mine purchases, NFT collections, carbon credits. Guys, we are building. If I could walk around, I have a. I'm, I'm sitting here with 50,000 square feet behind me with hundreds of developers. We are going to change the world, all of us collectively in this building, and all of you who choose to be a part of of this ecosystem. I'm not telling you that we're the answer. I'm not telling you that we're the best blockchain out there. But I am telling you, blockchain is going to change the world. If you don't come with us, pick a blockchain project. Do it. Do not be me nine years ago. Pick a blockchain project that's solving real world problems, that has core technology, that, that we don't have debt. We are a debt-free company because we have a founder that happens to be one of the wealthiest men on the planet who is purpose-driven, who's hell-bent on solving real-world problems and, and is creating this financial way for all of us to participate. Element is going to change the world, and I'm, and I'm positive of that. Will it make you money? I don't know. I can't guarantee that. Are we going to solve some good, keep some gold off the market, keep keep reduce a little bit the bad effects of, of intrusive gold mining and, and hoarding? Yeah, we are. And, and I, I mean, we want you guys to be a part of this. We want to grow together. And uh, we, we are confident that we have the right track record. We have the right why. And that's really what matters to me. Why are we doing this? And then we're confident that we're gonna we're gonna change the world. So this is just a quick snapshot of, of our of our roadmap. So in conclusion, look, we seek to replace the harmful and exploitive mining operations around the world with our element ecosystem and our digitization of gold. Guys, we aren't even in pre-launch yet. Our pre-launch doesn't start till next week. <laughs> and we've already sold about 15, 1600 nodes, mostly to the people who were involved in Gala because they, they, they've they had massive success with one of our projects and they, they want to be involved again. Our pre-launch isn't even official yet. This is literally the biggest group we've ever pitched to because Eric's my friend of 22 years. I reached out to him because I saw that he had a massive following and I said, hey, you want to be involved in this? And the second he saw it, he said, I'm going big. I'm telling everybody, this is this is our coming out party. You, ha you have not seen us anywhere. I promise you that. This is the first time you've heard of us. You, but And I can promise you this. In the next 30 to 60 days, you will see us everywhere and get involved soon. So that's all I've got. I know we've got a, a bunch of questions in the chat. Hopefully our moderators have been able to answer a lot of these questions. And Arnold, I'm going to turn the time back over to you. Man, that was awesome, Scott. Thanks so much, brother. Um, now you can see why Eric and I are so excited about this project, guys. Um, this is pretty, pretty amazing. This is big. This is big stuff. I mean, like Scott said or alluded to, they got a track record with the owners with Gala. Gala, if you if you know about Gala, you know that it was a massive success and still is today. Um, they've done it before. We feel like they're going to do it again. And the nice thing about Ele Element like Scott alluded to, is the fact that there's assets on the books. I mean, we have a real serious uh, mission behind what we have going on here. And that's why we think the value of what this is going to be create and become is just out of this world, like truly out of this world. So 
what we want you to do, what I wanted to show you real quick is one thing we didn't talk about is, you know, how you get involved or what it takes to get involved and get started. Um, Scott shared a link there. Before you go to that link, we've had a couple of other people that invited people to this, to this webinar. Get back to them. Now, there's only a couple of people. I mean, literally, there's only, there's Eric and I. So if Eric and I invited you to this, whether you saw something we posted on Facebook or, or we invited you directly, get back to us directly. Um, if either John or Dustin invited you, you know who they are. If they invited you, get back to them directly. Let them know what you want to do, how you want to get involved, how many nodes you want to get started with, and then they'll take care of you. Or if Brad and Van uh, invited you to this call, get back to them, all right, before you go straight to the link. Arnold, uh, when, when, you, when you go to the website uh, to buy, it's going to ask you who referred you. Make sure you put the name in there. Yeah. Um, you, you know, because some some people, you know, even even though nobody knows. And by the way, our website, guys, it's it's basically a placeholder. Our official website isn't even up yet. We just put something together um, because our, you know, we Eric Eric has kind of pushed that because you know he's got a lot a lot of people he said would be interested in this. But in there is a link that says who referred you. Just throw the name in there. So it doesn't matter how you find it. There's always going to be that space to put in there the name of the person that referred you and we have a we have a lot of uh, a good tracking system ali our customer service vp is on here um just making sure that you know that the orders are tracked and so it, it's a uh, 2500 for the node and uh the price of the node as you saw in my example with gala goes up so as we sell nodes the price goes up so this is going to sound like a really stupid and cheesy uh sales tactic it's not but the price of the node is as cheap today as it will ever be, and that's by design. And so we can say that every day of the year because it always goes up; it'll never go down in price. And uh, so, yeah. Yes. Let me just mention too for everyone that the nodes. So Scott mentioned this as well. The nodes are not. We're in pre-launch right now. The nodes are not turned on. We anticipate that happening end of July, August, and they'll start running. So right now, everyone that gets nodes is helping to secure their place in the blockchain and build our strong, stable blockchain, which is a critical component. It helps us accomplish all the things that we want to do. Right. Yeah, so you guys, the reason why we did this call tonight is because Eric and I wanted our community and our sphere of influence to have first movers advantage. And you guys truly, truly have first movers advantage like scott said they haven't even officially pre-launched yet let alone launched to the world you're hearing about this before the rest of the world does the price of a node right now is literally the lowest it's ever been and ever will be this is the price they started at i believe right scott you started at yep. 2500 a node yeah it's never it's never been it's never been sold for less than 2500 never been less than what it is today so you guys are getting it at the lowest price but on top of that there's actually still founders nodes available. There's what, about 1,500, 2,000 founders nodes available, something like that still? Yeah, these, these nodes, they, they, they kick out a, uh, because of the tokenomics of it, I can talk about the tokenomics really briefly. So we're gonna sell about 80,000 nodes and uh, 50 billion coins will, will be produced from these nodes. Half of those go out in year one which is why so many people clamored to get in early because the second they get flipped on, that's when the highest node distribution happens. And so you'll know, like if anyone, any of you, like if you've had a gala node or a green node, in the beginning days of gala, you were probably, it was probably kicking out somewhere around 10, you know. Bitcoin know, too, 10, Scott. What's it? Bitcoin too. Yeah, Bitcoin too, yeah. So the, so the reward the reward for gala was, was around 10,000 coins a day per node. And then it steadily goes down and down and down. Same with green. So our green pro, uh, program right now spits out about 800 coins a day, where three months ago it was at 4,000 coins a day. So the more people that join, the, the the distribution goes down, which is why there's always a mad scramble in year one, because in year one, 25 billion coins are going to be rewarded, no matter how many people are in the network, right? So if there's a few people in the network, those few people are... Are, are going to make a fortune and so but even even if we had 
tens of thousands of people, it's still a very high distribution in year one. And then it gets halved. Now that now the compensating factor for that is because the distribution is lower and lower with every year, the compensating factor is that the coin will probably have value and probably be, you know, if it's listed on different exchanges. So that that's why, you know, even though even though the 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 price of a node is a hundred thousand dollars for gala, but Gala is doing a billion in volume every day, and and the price up until you know we had this little correction has been has been going very well. So you look at it and you go, all right, if I were to buy a Gala node, you know, up until last week, a Gala node was making you you know around three grand a month. So you look at it and if I was a real estate investor and said, oh, if I'm going to buy this house for hundred grand and it's going to give me you know a passive income of three grand a month, that's a no brainer. Right. So if you look at it, but people get spoiled, right? Because in the in the early, in the first year of those people that bought a node for a thousand bucks, they made millions. Like that's a fact. I'm not, I'm not giving you, I'm not telling you that's what's going to happen to us. I'm just saying David and I have met hundreds of them who've become multimillionaires because they happened to buy a two thousand dollar node with Gala, you know, a couple of years ago. Um, and so, you know, if if we did what Gala did, the people that that were that buy nodes in year one. They're, they're going to be happy. You know, I, I personally think, you know, because we are going to have a lot of assets on the books, billions of dollars worth of gold, that there's something there. Right. And, and, you know, it's, it, but it's no guarantee. I just, I just happen to think solving real world problems and helping people, you know, people can get behind that. We have some pretty big celebrities that we've been talking to. We won't give any names or hints, but so when I tell you, you're going to hear about gala from a lot of different sources in the next couple of months, you're going to, or sorry, Element, you're going to hear about Element from, from a lot of different ways. And so um, literally, this is this is basically our coming out party. The only other people who really heard about this are people that were involved in some way, shape, or form with Gala. And something you said, Scott, is really key is that we are really trying to give greater access to gold and to these elements to everyone in the world and change the way people think about mining change the way they think about gold and ownership. And I, I just think that's that's a phenomenal, phenomenal idea, digitizing gold and changing what we what we think about gold. Now gold is necessary, like you said, but I think that's so critical for everyone to understand is that there are there's an opportunity right now to change the way gold is thought about in people's minds and and through the nfts the digitization it allows greater access greater stability and can really change we, we hope eventually like we said in our roadmap to have world world changing effects through countries using our element blockchain to verify transfer and even uh, oh, and, and move by, gold. The way, by the way david as well you know this as we've been talking to gold miners and getting them on there are other people who've grabbed this idea and are trying to do it as well. We've talked to a couple of gold miners that said, oh, yeah, somebody else called me about digitizing my gold. So this idea is is catching on because when I first heard about it as a physical gold miner, I told our owner, I said, you're an idiot. Nobody, There's no way digital gold can replace physical gold. And it absolutely can. And, and there are other companies who are doing it as well, which we don't care. We don't care about competition because nobody's doing exactly what we're doing. We cannot be replicated because just the experience and, and what we're trying to do. But the concept of digitizing gold and keeping it in the ground has been picked up by other people. And we love it because our idea that we thought was like this novel, it's it's catching on. And, and this is the way to this is where it's going. And uh, we, we are confident bring on the competition. I, I, I cheered when I when I heard that there were other people doing this because it's validating to the world that this is where it's moving. We just do it better and we're gonna do it faster and, and uh, we have better technology. We have, we have a, our foot in the door quicker than most people. We've got dozens of gold mines that, that are coming on board with us. So we're, we're happy that we have competition because it validates what we're doing. We're just gonna do it better. Well, Scott, you said too, we've got the technology and I think that's critical for people to understand that our blockchain, I mean, it's over $100 million that has been invested in our core blockchain technology. And we'd invite anyone to come here if you're in the Salt Lake City area 
um, come visit our office and you'll you'll see here we've got I mean like Scott said it's 50,000 square feet and we've got our programmers our dev teams we've got several worldwide international places as well so it's it's pretty pretty amazing and this is something that uh, if you, you look up Scott's history my history we're all in on this and we're doing it with uh, for a reason we've stopped everything else and we're we're going on this because this is where we see the future going and it's it's really exciting where you yeah. can have a project a real world project that, that changes things one one thing i wanted to say you guys is i've been able to spend quite a few days with you guys at the office and i am blown away at the new facilities there and and the caliber of people that are working there are, are are just endless i mean the 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 knowledge that they have and the vision that they have on these on the products and the things that they're doing and putting together there isn't one person that i've spoken with there that said anything that this will not be one of the number one if top um potential blockchains out there in the industry everything they're saying the way it's designed way it's put together um because of the uh, the experience with everything with gala and everything it's it's amazing to see it really is and to hear um the architects the head individuals of these groups working with these engineers and stuff is is fascinating and and i haven't been around a lot of that i mean honestly you guys i mean i'm i'm, I'm a, a trader and things i'm heavy into crypto but just to experience to see what they're putting together and how this all operates in the blockchain and what makes this different than all the other companies out there and i can reiterate what scott was saying it is it is way way different than a lot of the other companies that i've been involved with and i've talked to about some of their products and blockchains as well so um it, it's it is like i say it's it's very unique this is a great opportunity and right place right time you know that old saying you got to be at the right place right time and, and you can ride that wave and i really feel confident um that that is what this is and those that are on here um are at the right place too so i i just wanted yeah, to say that and we can do a, you know, whenever Eric's got a desk right next to me here. And so when, if we, if we want, you know, someone is on here saying, Hey, walk around in video, we can do that. It's eight, it's eight sixteen right now, but Eric has been here. He's, he took some pictures. He, we can, uh, we'll give you a little tour when, when uh, you know, maybe tomorrow we can set up something else. We'll do a little. I just turned off my, my background. They can, I mean, this is the, I'm in the break area. Oh you're, yeah. Yeah. David's is a different part this of our, is our office, break yeah. area. So. Um, yeah, we've got but like I said, everyone, we invite you to come here. Um, someone did ask about um, the white paper, and uh, we do have a tech doc that it, we are writing right now um, that will outline how the tech works and, and how this how we actually digitize and how that works with the DAO and things like that. So perfect. Well, one of the other things I wanted to clarify as well. So a full node is $2,500. There are many nodes available. Some of you have asked about that. There are many nodes available. Those are $25 per mini node. So it's basically one one hundredth of a full node. And uh, you can get as many mini nodes as you want. Just know that they're gonna they're gonna produce one one hundredth. Each each mini node will basically produce one one hundredth of a full node. And uh, so you can buy, you know, like let's say you don't have 2,500 bucks, but you want to at least get started. You want to be part of this project and at least benefit from it in some way, shape, or form. You can get as many mini nodes as you want. So if you find if you got 500 bucks to to put into something like this, you can buy enough mini nodes to add up to 500 bucks. Again, I think it was also mentioned in the chat box. I'm not sure if everyone saw that, but right now the payment method is Ethereum. Okay. Payment method right now is is with Ethereum. I think they're working on a couple of other options that will be coming down the road in the near future. But right now, uh, the way you pay for all of these is is with Ethereum. Okay, send it through through an Ethereum uh, transaction is how you do that. So you can see Scott walking around a little bit with his laptop. Yeah. So our office, um, we've got over 150 dev uh, engineers right now here and we we hope to have about 250 uh, within the next 12 months and then we have a, a team in latin america a team in uh eastern europe and a, a 
team, small team in Asia as well. So this is this is a very robust operation, and we'd love to. We're located. Someone asked. We're south of Salt Lake City, about um, uh, I don't know, about thirty-five minutes or so. So, anyway, uh, appreciate you all, Eric and, and Arnold. Thanks for having us on here. If there's any um, other questions, you can always email Eric and Arnold directly. Um, their link is elementunited.com slash TNT when you're ready to sign up and support what we're doing, become one of our, our node uh, uh, owners and uh, blockchain uh, supporters here at Element. Uh, also support at elementunited.com is our support email. So really appreciate you guys. I, Eric, I'll let, turn back over to you and Arnold and, and you can close this up here. Appreciate it. One other thing I wanted to show real quick is just so, just so you have somewhat of a visual i'm a visual i'm a very visual learner and a visual person so it kind of makes more sense when i can actually see it in black and white so i just wanted to show you so i'm not going to give you any income predictions or anything like that but you guys can kind of do the math on your own but you know what can a 2500 dollars element node do for you well first of all it's going to generate element token for you on a daily basis and like scott talked about that's going to vary right depending upon how many node holders there are and so on and so forth. Year one is where the majority of the, the nodes are gonna be, I mean, the, the, the token is gonna be generated for those node holders. So they, they predict that in the first six to nine months or so, a 25, a full node would generate roughly somewhere between 8,000 to 15,000 token or, or, or coin per day. Well, let's just use the lowest number on that scale. 8,000 token a day times 30 days in a month, that's roughly 24,000 tokens uh, per month over the course of just your first six months you're looking at accumulating roughly potentially this is just example purposes only this isn't a guarantee this is just to kind of show something so you can kind of let your mind work for you you know roughly 144,000 token over the first six months if you get started before the tokens go on or before the nodes go online again right now you're purchasing a node you're paying for a node and you're securing that spot on the blockchain so that when they flip them on, those things are going to work for you and you're on the line from day one. So your node is online from day one, generating the, the most amount of token it could possibly do. So what's, what's the upside, what's the downside? The downside is maybe the element token has no value. <laughs> maybe it has no value. There is a chance that that could happen. So your 144,000 token at that point obviously is worth nothing. But the good part is, is it could become valuable over time. Look at what happened to Gala, right? What if it only got to two cents? You do the math. What if it got to five cents? You do the math. What if it got to 10 cents? And that's just in the first six months. Imagine what's going to happen over the next 12 months to 18 months to 24 months and so on and so forth. Your node's going to be working day in, day out, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, generating tokens for you. And the value of that will be dependent upon what the value of the token hey, is. At Arnold, that can I yes. jump in real quick? Yeah. So I think I think eight thousand. Let's let's just say you went off of eight thousand tokens a day. Yep. Um, six months, you're going to have one point four four million, not one hundred and forty four thousand. Oh yeah, you're right. So, I do the, yeah, you're right. I did the wrong so, math. So so. Right. Hey, listen, if you're excited about the 144,000, I just 10 X it for you. Okay. Cause it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's one, it's 1. 1.4 million element coins. If you've got 8,000 a day times 30 days, you know, that's one month, but times that by six months, you're at 1.4 million tokens in six months. You know, Scott, and it's, it's like, uh, I was telling Arnold now, let, the other let, day. Let me be, let me be clear about those numbers though, because these, the, the nodes aren't, they're not running yet. And so this is uh, example only, just make sure everyone's exactly. clear on that. Yeah. It could, it, and, it might be. And it changes every day. So, sure. so depending on how many, how many nodes are running, they'll, they'll never be, I mean, you know, because I had green nodes, I, I, I know from personal example, you know, uh, several months ago, they were kicking out about 3,500 that's in year three. Um, and then right now my, my five green nodes are about 800 a day. But yeah, in the beginning, in year one, they're going to kick out a lot, but but that number will be different every single day based on who qualifies for distribution that day and how many people ran their nodes. And like like Arnold said, look, we're not promising any value. 
Um, so so that it might not be worth anything, but as Scott mentioned earlier, you're supporting a project that is uh, really amazing. And there, what we can guarantee is that you will, if you buy and you run your node, we can guarantee that you will get reward element rewards for that. Now, will yeah, those you, rewards you, be valuable? Exactly. We don't we don't know. We are obviously you're trying, and and that's the the intention. Um, but uh, we hope that um, you understand the the vastness of the project that we're creating, and we're actually building a large large global uh, project that's going to reach a lot of people. And um, so we believe there's going to be significant value, but we can't guarantee that. Um, but we do we do feel like there will be significant value, and the fact that we will have um, assets on our books, which is very different. If you look at crypto projects or blockchain projects, most don't have the facilities, the funding, the actual assets, and and a, a stable blockchain like we have that's been proven. Yeah, so Larry asked, what do you mean by run your nodes? So basically what a node is software, it's basically it's software, <laughs> right? So um, you don't have to purchase, you know, you're not purchasing hardware, you're not running anything at your house unless you load the, the node on your local computer. We recommend a VPS. Yeah, I think uh, Michael said there, VPS is recommended. What's the VPS again that you guys work with and, and recommend? The one we recommend is Volter, V U V U L T R Volter. It's just a it's a virtual private server that will run your node for you. They charge you like five bucks a month per node. So we have we most people buy more than one node, and so if you're going to run one node, you can do that on your computer. But if you're going to have more than one node, which which about ninety percent of our of our customers do, they're going to run it on VPS. We have people that have bought a hundred nodes. And they run them all, so you'd have a, you know, you'd have a five hundred dollar a month fee on that if you had a hundred <laughs> nodes. Um, but they do the work for you, and it's just, it's truly a set it and forget it. And uh, you want to check in with Volter once a week just to make sure they're not having any technical issues that your nodes are running. But that's the way to do it: is not to run it on your computer because you have to run your node, you know, six hours a day to qualify for that daily distribution. And what if you like shut your laptop and it turn, you know, or whatever? You have a power outage. Let let a third party company, and we're unaffiliated; we don't make anything on it. Let them run it for you. That's that's what we do with all our personal nodes. It's really the only way to go. Yep, I agree wholeheartedly. So. Uh, um, I think Chris mentioned there is a Discord channel that we'll start managing if anyone wants to join that Discord. Um, uh, Ali, Chris, and our team will be uh, help managing that as well. So, and any questions about some of the technicals, please email support at elementunited.com and we can help set, set everyone up. Yeah, there's a, there's a little learning curve. You know, you have to pay with Ethereum. And so we, we will have a video uh, produced here pretty quick on how to do that from from a beginner be, beginner's perspective so but we can we can walk you through it now right Allie? <laughs> yeah Allie's like oh um yeah so all right well thank you all so so thank very you, much appreciate it. i mean we still have over 100 people on here live with us we've been here for an yeah. hour and a half so really great right. to see everybody uh so, thanks so much i think everyone liked what you had to say that's why they're all still here um <laughs> listen listen if we group listen guys we will make ourselves available to you like like i said we muted about 60 slides we just wanted to, to have it more of a conversation but if we need to get more in the weeds on how the nft works how the gamification works no problem i'm sure there's some very capable people on here who have a a, a big background in nfts and gamification and all this stuff we will get into the weeds with you. So we will, we are making ourselves available because we're in pre-launch and we've, we've told Eric, you know, look, uh, I've known the guy 22 years. We will do special favors for him and his group. Um, obviously we, we don't have the bandwidth to do that starting here pretty quick, especially when we get into our pre-launch, but for Eric's group, um, we'll, we'll, we'll make some accommodations for you. We'll figure it out uh, essentially. So I'm not saying we have all the free time in the world because we did this at night because it's <laughs> we are yeah. booked from 8 a.m 
to 10 p.m. every night. Um, like I said, this is the one, two, three, third presentation of the day. Um, just to, fourth, sorry, David reminded me. And it's usually to just small groups, right? Like people who bought a gala node. And, but, but this is the, without a doubt, the biggest presentation we've done. We had a, at the peak 164 of you on here. And this is literally the first and time we're, ever. Yeah. And we're live on happened. Facebook too, you know? So, I mean, there's, there's a lot of people on there live on the Facebook as well. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right, man. Well, thanks everyone. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate you guys. Um, let's, let's change the world. And, and absolutely we, guys. Absolutely. We, we really take appreciate advantage of it. it. Get back to us or get back to the person who referred you. Get some more. If you have any other questions, we'll try and get those answered for you, but secure your notes. Don't let this one pass you by. Yeah. Most of us already missed the gala opportunity. Let's not miss this one. All right. Right. Well, so said. let's have some fun with this. Let's have some fun, make some money, and change the world. Make a big difference in this world of ours. All right. Nice. Thank you all so much. Have you a great guys. evening and a great weekend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye for now.